If I reviewed every single leather bifold or trifold wallet out there, that's all I would have time to do because there's so many. It would actually get monotonous and pretty boring. That's why I'm always on the lookout for unique, innovative wallets that offer something new. And I think I have just the thing here. This is the Vex Slim Wallet from Sleek Life Design. Let's check it out. All right, so the Vex Slim Wall, it comes in this little black box with a plastic see-through cover. Turn it around to the back side and it goes over a few of the features here, but let's take this out of the box. All right, so let's take this out here. Give you guys a nice close-up of the Vex Slim Wallet. And while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. All right, so the Vex Slim comes in two different models, either an aircraft aluminum model or the one that I have right here, carbon fiber. And if you go with the aluminum model, it comes in three different colors, black, rose gold, or silver. And the aluminum model is finished with a scratch resistant top coat. It can fit up to nine flat cards and has an elastic cash band in the back that doubles that's a hidden pocket and features a V cutout on the front to easily swipe through your cards. All right, so that's enough of the quick features. Let's talk dimensions. All right, so the Vex Slim measures in at 3.5 inches by 2.76 inches by 0.4 inches. All right, so just keep in mind that I'm weighing the carbon fiber model here because it's the only one that I have, not the aluminum model. So I have no way of weighing that aluminum model but this carbon fiber comes in at 1.9 ounces and in grams. 54 grams. All right, so I've been using this for the past week and I can tell you guys that this is very high quality. It's built very well. So it's made of two plates here and those two plates are screwed into these side pieces. Then you can see that elastic cash band is threaded through that side piece. And taking a closer look at those screws, they are not torque screws. There's four Phillips head screws right there on the front. And then we have another four right there on the back. On the elastic cash band here, we have this piece of leather that's sewn in that looks like it starts right there on the inside, wraps around the back here, if I can show you, where you store your cash and then wraps all the way around right here into the front. And as I mentioned earlier, it has this V cutout right here on the top to make it real easy to swipe through your cards. And if I flip it to the bottom here, you can see there is no bottom. You can see right through it. And no, they weren't being lazy. That actually serves a purpose. And I'll show you that once I start stuffing some cards in here. Then let's turn it to the back here. And we have very small branding right here, which I'm actually a big fan of. And then this little V logo right here on the leather strip on that elastic cash band. I actually like that very, very subtle branding. And I love how this V here looks exactly like the V cutout on the top. Now let's take a look at these two demo cards that it came with. Right here it says slide down to access next card. And this card says slide up to remove card. Then it says holds up to nine cards. And then right here it says use band on back of wallet for extra cards, cash, and small items. So there's a few reasons why I thought this was a very unique wallet. And let's get into that right now. So it says it can hold up to nine flat cards. So let's take out nine flat cards and test it. All right, so I have nine flat demo cards right here. So let me see if I can just stick all nine of them in to the Vex Slim. And no, not fitting. So I just double counted. I definitely have nine and it's not fitting. So let me just take one out for a total of eight. And there we go. Fits in perfectly with eight flat cards. Now keep in mind, it all depends on the thickness of your cards. These are just demo cards, but I've never really had a problem with these demo cards before. Usually when a company says it can hold seven cards, I can usually get seven into the wallet. So I was curious about how many raised number embossed demo cards and flat cards could fit in here. So here's four embossed and three flat for a total of seven and yeah, that seems to be the max right there. All right, so now let's talk about how functional the Vex Slim Wallet is here. All right, so we have this V cutout right here so you can easily see your top card. And getting that top card out is just as easy as it looks. Just slide it right up, super simple. What I really like about this design here is if you have a chip card right there, it doesn't even have to leave your wallet. Just slide it up, insert the card, pay, 
slide it right back in the wallet. And now let's talk about how you get your cards out of the middle. And that's where this wallet really shines for me. So not only is this V cutout super useful for that top card to push forward, but if you want to get your cards out of the middle, just start swiping down and look how easy this is to start cycling through your cards in the middle and getting your card out of the back here. When I first started carrying this wallet and using it, I couldn't believe just how fast this little cutout was at cycling through the cards and getting whatever card out you wanted. It's extremely fast, so getting the first card out, super easy. If I wanna to get to the third card, one, two, boom. And I found that putting the cards back in the middle is just as easy. At first, I thought it was super clumsy because I'm just in the habit of putting the card back into the top here, which doesn't work very well. But what you wanna do is take that card, navigate to where it was right there, going from the bottom and slides right back in. So I absolutely love this system of taking cards out of the middle, as you can see, putting them back in the bottom here, exactly where you got them from. All right, so now let's talk about this cash band back here. So I have four bills right here folded in half. And if you take a look at the width of this wallet here, it's about a half an inch wider than a credit card that split up between these two sides. And at first I really didn't like this because I was wondering why they made it so wide and had all this extra space here. With the extra width here, you don't have to fold your bills into quarters anymore because it fits almost perfectly folded in half, which is a rarity these days when we're talking about modern minimalist wallets because most of them are the size of the credit card just to make it less wide. And then of course doing that, you have to fold your bills into quarters because it won't fit Fold it in half, and of course, you can still do that if you want to. And then another really cool surprise is right here, we have a little hidden pocket. So this pocket is great for carrying some chains. So I have a couple American quarters right here. So let's get those in there and <laughs> there you go. And of course, if you have a spare key, that'll fit pretty nice in that spare pocket. And another use for this pocket is, I know a lot of you guys don't like having your cash exposed on the outside with traditional cash straps or money clips. Well, if you have your bills folded into quarters like this, it'll actually fit right into this little pocket back there. So as far as pockets are concerned on wallets, this is actually one of the most useful pockets I've seen in a long time. All right, now let's go over a few tests here. So what if you only have one card? So will it hold only one card with the shake test? No. All right, so what about two cards? Will it survive? All right, they still come out. And that's not very surprising at all because there's no locking mechanism in there. It's designed just to slide cards in and out. So the cards rely on the other cards to hold themselves in place. All right, so now it's at max eight cards. If I do the shake test, yeah, those cards aren't going anywhere, but one kind of strayed a little bit, but that's no big deal. The majority of the cards stayed exactly where they're supposed to. All right, so now let's do the shake test with the two quarters here. Get those in there and shake it. Wow. <laughs> no, they aren't moving at all from this pocket. And what's really weird is I heard them shaking in the pocket, but they didn't fall out. That is pretty impressive there. And just for the heck of it, let's put the key in there, put it down on the bottom and do the shake test again. Hear it? Yeah. I mean, this is one pretty impressive little pocket. And it's such a simple design too. It looks like it's just a piece of elastic folded in half to form a pocket. So like I said, it's a simple design, but very effective. All right, so now let's talk about what I like about the Vexed Slim Wallet. The build quality and materials are top notch. This V cutout with the open design makes this one of the fastest, most functional wallets I've used in a long time. I like that they use this thick piece of elastic for the cash band back here. And then speaking of that cash band, I love that you don't have to fold your bills in the quarters. You can just leave them folded in half. And this little hidden pocket back here is one of my favorite pockets that I've seen on a minimalist wallet. All right, so let's talk about what I don't like. There's not many negatives that I can find on this wallet. One of them is if you only have one or two cards, just won't work. Next, even though they claim nine cards, I can only fit eight flat cards in there. But once again, all depends on the thickness of your cards. So obviously when they're doing their tests, 
their cards were just a little bit thinner than the cards that I use here. So would I recommend the Vex Slim? Absolutely. It's a great price, well-built quality materials. It's easy to use, innovative, and functional. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Vexed Slim Wallet by Sleek Life Design? Now, if you guys want to check out this wallet for yourself, I will leave links below in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!